Okay, Mark, hashtag feeling good this Friday, are we? I am feeling good. It is Friday and I've got a very special recipe for you today. We're doing a beef wellington. So instead of the traditional wellington where we've got mushrooms, we're going to change that out and we're going to do an olive tapenade. So we've got black olives, anchovies, capers. It's going to be fantastic with the beef. Also, we're going to roast some carrots with some pine nuts and feta just to serve with it. And I'm going to show you how to make these nice little parcels after. But first of all, we're going to make the uh, tapenade. So in a blender, get some pitted olives. Always helps if you take the stones out of the olives. Um, don't want to break your blender. Uh, there's a tip there for you, Mike. <laughs> uh, some capers in there, some anchovies, a little bit of lemon juice in there, and we'll do some fresh parsley, and then we'll blend it with some olive oil. I hope uh, your knife skills are up to par today. <laughs> I hope yours are. <laughs> <laughs> you're, un you're under pressure. <laughs> So a little bit of olive oil in there. So because we're going to use it as a layer in the Wellington, we don't want it too uh, runny. But we will need a little bit more. <laughs> <oil in there. laughs> it's always better to add because you can't take away. <laughs> anyway, come back later <laughs> and this will be a beautiful puree. Over the mic and Mark in the Mastercraft kitchen. I tell you what, Mel, thank you so much. We are getting ready because apparently there's a bit of a challenge coming up. You and I mm. are taking on the Pure South uh, Sharp Blacks. Ah, piece of cake. Yeah, I mean, they look <laughs> the part. I mean, they do. They look the part. But can they deliver? Mm. That's the question. We're going to find out very have soon. They, have they won? Have they won? Well, yeah. they're champions, so maybe oh, they can okay. deliver. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you are, we are in trouble. <laughs> right. Okay, so what have we got going on here? This is really exciting because of Beef <coughs> Wellington, something I've always wanted to make. Now, all of us can make it with the help of Mark. So what are we doing? Right, first off, we're going to do a layer in the Beef Wellington, spinach. So hot pan, olive oil, spinach in, a little bit of salt. Give it a good stir. The heat is just going to break it down. And as soon as it's wilted, we're going to take it out Put it on the cloth and drain it. We don't want any excess liquid in there. That's very quick, isn't it? Very quick. And this is great as well. Really fast vegetable um, for your supper time. You know, throw it in a pan. A minute later, 30 seconds even, it is ready. That's okay, good. there you go. Tip it out. Wow. That's all you want to do. Nice work. Everyone needs their spinach, folks. That's a good way to get it into you. All right, I'm just going to dry that off. OK, nice. Right, Mike, I am going to trust you again in the kitchen. OK, yay! I've redeemed myself. OK. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, so I fill it. <laughs> did I say that out loud? You did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, a little bit of salt and pepper, hot pan, a little bit of veg oil. Yep. Going to get that nice and hot, and mm -hmm. I'm going to give that to you. I just want to seal that off, so a nice colour both sides. OK. And we're just going to seal it so you're not cooking it. So that's why you need a really, really hot pan. <laughs> Everyone in the audience is really worried. <laughs> OK. Oh, my. So are you. Great. Yeah. No, no, it's brilliant. Fantastic. Doing a great job. Here's our, um, our tapenade, which we made before. So you can see it's just been blended now. We've still got a nice bit of texture in there. We want a bit of texture for a layer, and that's going to give us a nice salty layer. So as I was saying before, normally mushrooms, but we're just um, mixing it up a little bit today. Um, uh, how... <laughs> When you're searing something, how long do you sear it for? Um, well, if you've got a really hot pan, just want to sort of check it. There you go. Good. Oh, I'm Flip good at this, aren't I? OK, sweet. <laughs> right, so at the same time, we've just got some carrots. Right. And we're going to roast some carrots. So I'm not going to peel them. Just going to quarter them so we get some nice batons. And then in a hot pan, I'm just going to start roasting them in some olive oil. OK, and what are we doing? We're preparing, aren't we, the layers? Yeah, we're preparing we're the layers, to... and then this is just a little bit of garnish. I'll get this on now. Right. I can watch them for you too, if you trust me. Oh, brilliant. OK, nice. This is great. This day's getting easier. I know. I know how, I, this is what chefs do all day, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks good. Yep, yep, come along nicely. All right, so that's, that's all we want to do. So we'll turn it off. We're just sealing it on both sides. OK, deal. Done. Right, and then this is how we're going to build our Wellington, right? So puff pastry. Yep. So, you know, if, you, if you're good in the kitchen, you can make your own puff pastry if you really want to. Um, I made this this morning before the show. Well, this work. I really love your preparation. <laughs> I did spot a bag. Oh, yeah, no, I just bought, yeah. just bought it. <laughs> right, so we're just going to go first. We're just going to put our spinach layer on here. I guess this is building our beef wellington. All the recipes you can find online at uh, thecafe.co.nz. Thanks for all your feedback, too, actually, on your recipes. People really enjoying them, Mark. OK. Right. So now, what is that called again? So this is the tapenade layer. So it's just basically sort of a... 
Uh, your olive. Tasty olive layer. Yeah, nice. We've got the anchovies in there, which is really good. Even if you don't like anchovies, you know, recommend putting them in because it makes it really, really tasty. Did you see that panic look on my face? <laughs> I just about forgot the carrots. <laughs> we we want to get a little bit of colour on the carrots, so that's okay, fine. That's okay. All right. Sweet. Right, and then we're going to put the beef in the centre. Going to a little bit more pepper. Nice. And then we just want to roll it all up. Wow. Okay. So you put the whole piece by fillet in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yes. Is that just is spread that it out a little bit? Or do we count that Well, you're going to have to somewhere. share it. Oh, OK. Nice. OK. And then it's got a little bit of egg yolk. So we just put a little bit of egg yolk here, because we've measured it. And that just helps glue it together? Yeah, that's just going to help glue it together. You know what, Mark? If you can teach me how to make a beef wellington, you can teach absolutely anybody. Teach the nation. Teach the nation. <laughs> a two-year-old, even. <laughs> okay. And then a little bit more egg wash on the underside and we're going to fold that over and there's our little parcel. Oh, and well then done. just going to brush it with some egg yolk and we're going to pop that in a hot oven so probably about 200 degrees for about sort of around about 15 minutes but it all depends on how big your beef is and how big the uh, parcel is. Ladies in the audience, how do you think he's going? All right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you go, eh? These ladies, they know how to cook too. So, okay. <laughs> Um. Awesome. So we're going to cook that. We're going to come back. We're going to finish the carrots, and we're going to plate this dish, and you guys can try it. So over to you, Mel. Fantastic. I can't wait, Mel. We are nearly ready to plate, and I'd just like to say that guy was so fast, wasn't he? It was like one minute, nearly as fast as me <laughs> <laughs> and Mike. Uh, right, the carrots. So we roasted the carrots. Just added the pine nuts. Just going to finish it off. A little bit of feta, just to let that soften over the carrots, and then we'll plate up. Right, the lamb wellington. So it's been baking for about 15 minutes. And I hear you say, how do you know if it's cooked or not without cutting it in half? Right, so get a nice little uh, skewer, metal skewer, pop it in, in the middle, count about five, six seconds, pull it out, and then in the middle part of the skewer, just brush it over the top part of your lip. So that's very sensitive up there. So if you burn your lip, that means it's well done and <laughs> overcooked. <laughs> If it, you know, you want it sort of, you know, warm, warm to hot and you'll get a nice pink wellington. So hopefully that's what we've got here. So it's going to do some nice slices. And we'll have a look inside. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yum. Right, so just going to put these carrots and feta and pine nuts on the plate. And then we'll put this wellington over here. That looks incredible, Mark. And you guys can you know come try that. it now. Okay. Bring it over. Look at that. Yeah,